Do you remember when you were a kid and you wanted to decide whether you want to study or to play outside? And then when you grew up, you wanted to know if you wanted to buy a house or to rent an apartment or either to save money or to invest on something. And do you remember if you got any good solution and how you analyzed that decision? Welcome to Decision Analysis Tutorial, where we can help you how to decide and how to analyze your decision. So what is Decision Analysis? Decision Analysis is a discipline addressing important practices to assess a recommended course of action for the decision maker. So whether you wanted to save, or to invest, or to buy a house, or rent an apartment, or even to play outside or to study, Decision analysis will help you achieve a good decision. So what are the elements in order for one to have a good decision or to analyze a decision? First, one should have alternative decision, alternative actions, or choices. Then, one should have states of nature or the factors, and then payoff or consequences. We will go through each one of them later in our video. There are many instances or many scenarios where one decision maker can do decision making and these are the following decision making under certainty decision making under uncertainty decision making under risk and decision making under competition again we will also go through each one of them as we go through with our problem so let's start with decision making under certainty decision making under certainty is where decision maker knows with certainty the consequences of, el of every alternative or decision choice. Naturally, they will choose the alternative that will maximize their well-being or will result in the best outcome. Although, in real life, it is kind of impossible for a decision maker to know with certainty the different choices or the different consequences for a particular course of action. So it is very uncommon to have decision making under under certainty. But these are the following examples for it. For example, buying a new carpet or installing office furniture or promoting an employee. In these particular problems, the decision maker knows with certainty what he or she will have as a consequence. If you are very interested to know an algorithm and how to do this one, one of the most common and one of the most famous algorithm is called the analytical hierarchy planning. We will not be dwelling on this algorithm or on this method in this video, but I will leave a tutorial below or a link below for your reference. Now let's go to decision making under uncertainty. Decision making under uncertainty is where there are several possible outcomes for each alternative and the decision maker does not know the probabilities of the various outcomes. There are five possible criterions in order for us to do decision making under uncertainty. One is optimistic approach. Then we have pessimistic approach, the criterion of realism or the Eurix approach equal likelihood or the Laplace, Laplace approach, savage regret or the regret table approach. So let's go through each one of them with our problem. First, let's see one word problem. Let's say for example Bob the Builder. And Bob the Builder has three different choices of what he wanted to build. Either he wants to build a shopping mall, a school, or different houses. These are the alternative solution of Bob the Builder or the alternative choices. Then the choice will depend on the material cost for each of these ones and either the material cost would increase or be stable at a particular period of time. And this one is the state of nature or the factor in order for Bob the Builder to create or to decide on something or to decide which among the three uh, different houses or different choices would he build and lastly the payoff or the consequences for each one of these so for example if the material cost would increase then 
if Bob the Builder would build a shopping mall, he'll have a profit of $70,000. But if the material cost will be stable, then he will only have a profit of $30,000. For school, he'll have $105,000 and $20,000 for each of the state of nature. And lastly, $40,000 and $40,000 each if the material cost will increase or will be stable. So, let's try with the optimistic approach or the decision-making under uncertainty Maximax approach. Maximax means maximum of maximums or you want it to be optimistic. So first, what you have to do is to look for the maximum for each of the state of nature and each of the alternative. So for the shopping mall, it's between $70,000 and $30,000 and we choose the biggest one which is $70,000. Then we have $105,000 for the school and either of the two for the houses. And then lastly, we choose the maximum of this maximum. And obviously, that's to build the school, which is $105,000. Therefore, with an optimistic approach or the Maximax approach, Bob the Builder will choose to build the school. Then let's try with the pessimistic approach. Pessimistic approach is also called the Maximin which means the maximum of the minimums. So first, we have to, ch to choose the minimum, which is $30,000, $20,000, and either of the two again. And then we have to choose the maximum for either of these. And obviously, it is $40,000 or the houses. Thus, in a pessimistic approach, uh, Bob the Builder should build the houses. Now, let's try with the third approach, which is the criterion of realism or the Eurex approach. What we have to do here is we need an index of optimism. For example, our index of optimism is alpha of 0.60. What we have to do is to look for the biggest value for each of the alternative, which are the following. Then, we multiply these biggest value with the index of optimism and then the other value with 1 minus this index of optimism. So let's try with shopping mall. We multiply it with 0 0.60 and the 30,000 should be multiplied with 1 minus 0 0.60 which is 0 0.40. Then you add them both up and we have a value of $54,000. Then for school, we do the same, and we have a value of $71,000. And lastly, for houses, we do the same, and then we'll have a value of $40,000. Then lastly, we have to choose the three of them. And obviously, that's to build a school, which is $71,000. Thus, for a criterion of realism, Bob the Builder should choose building a school. Then we have the equal likelihood, or the Laplace criterion. What we have to do here is to do maximum average payoff. So obviously, it's very easy. We just have to get the average value for each of the alternative. Thus, we multiply both value. So in shopping mall, we add $70,000 plus $30,000. And then that's a total of $100,000. Then you multiply it with the value, which is here, since we have two states of nature, we divide it by two and our value would be $50,000. We do the same for school, that's $125,000 divided by 2 with a value of $62,500 and then we do the same for houses and obviously that gives us $40,000. Then lastly again, you have to choose which one is the biggest, the maximum average payoff and that is the school. So Bob the Builder with the Laplace criterion or the Equal Likelihood criterion should build a house. A school rather and lastly we have the savage regret table savage regrets are the regret table here we have to make a regret table first so how do we make a regret table first step is to choose the biggest per state so the biggest per state is 105,000 for increase and for stable material costs we have $40,000 then you subtract on each of the payoff. So, $70,000, $105,000 minus $70,000 is $35,000. We do the same for the second one, giving us zero. 
and then 105,000 minus 40,000, that's $65,000. We do the same on stable as well. So 40,000 times 30,000 gives us 10,000. 40,000 times 20,000 gives us 20,000. And 40,000 minus 40,000 gives us zero. Then, you have to choose the minimum of the maximum. Here, that's already your regret table. So you have to do the minimax. So, choose the maximums first. That's $35,000, $20,000, and $65,000. Then you have to choose the minimum between them. And obviously, that's to build a school, which is $20,000. And that would be Bob's choice for Savage Regret.